Today we are installing the windscreen brace by Camel ADV on my 2019 Africa Twin. The way this is going to mount is these two holes right here and right here is where the bottom of the Camel brace mounts. Just like that. That's how that's going to mount in there. To get the bolts in there from the back we have to pull the, the rubber boots off of the back of the headlight housings to give ourselves more finger room in there. Before we do that, we actually need to remove the windscreen. I'm going to show you how to do that without losing your well nuts down inside. I don't have my five millimeter with me right now, so I'm using a, a, a T30. See, and I just keep mine finger tight. I don't really crank these things down. They're just well nuts, right? While I'm unscrewing these bolts, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the bolt itself thereby pressing the well nut in and losing it out the back. So the well nut stays in place. I'm allowing the bolt to back out as I'm unscrewing it. These are the two well nuts that can drop down inside of the bike. Once you get it to a certain point, just keep screwing until it pops out. And once again, I said, don't be pushing in on these bolts while you're undoing them. There, see? Well nuts stayed in place. I have taken that windscreen off of the bike countless times when I wash it. I've only ever lost one well nut, and I was fortunate that it did not fall inside of the fairing like happens with so many people. And I've done it that same way every single time, only ever lost one, and I was able to recover it. So as long as you're not trying to be the Hulk and strong arm stuff and push stuff in or pull it out or whatever, you will not lose your well nuts. Caveat to that is purchase extra just in case. Now to remove these boots off of the headlights. You can get a pair of pliers to work them off. You don't need to. You just pull on the things. You just work them off. Just like that. See this right here? There's an arrow. When you put this back on, put it with that arrow facing up. Look at all the extra room we have in here now for our fingers to get that thing in there. This seems like an obvious thing to say, but you can always move your bars around to give your hands extra room. If you do use pliers, be careful to not tear these things. Here's, here's uh, one of the two bags that you get for hardware for this thing. That bolt. And that bolt are what are going to go in these two holes right there. Let's see how many times it takes me to do this without dropping them. Once. Okay, I'm going to do one at a time. The other bag consists of two nylock nuts and two regular nuts. It's the two regular nuts that are going to. That are gonna connect those bolts to the OEM bracket. And you're, for all intents and purposes, you're creating studs is what you're doing. Now, um, these are not nylock nuts. Um, so I would, I'm going to put a dab of blue Loctite on there to help hold these down. Oops, that was a bit much. Now, while you're <laughs> screwing this nut on there, hold the bolt from the back. Now we put the other bolt in to create the other stud. What are your guys' plans for winter time? Whoa, almost dropped it. Riding or otherwise, I'm gonna drop that. Let's do this the intelligent way and use needle nose pliers. It was, oh, there it goes. It was bound to happen. It was mentioned to me that using 45 degree pliers is probably very helpful and I can see why that would be the case. Let's see about going up from the bottom. Get it like this. Get it like that. There you go. See how that worked? Up from the bottom. That's by far the easier way. The instructions from Camel ADV say this job will take about 30 to 40 minutes. I think that's a bit generous on time. 
it's probably going to take me 30 to 40 minutes and I'm filming this, setting up different shots and everything. So I can't imagine the entire time taking me that long. All right. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Ooh, look at that. Don't even need to hold the back because the bolt bit in. Nice. Let's see if this one will do the same. Yep, sure is. Doesn't need to be super, super tight. Just enough to hold them on there snug. We have just created the studs. The other reason why you put the bolts on this side and the nuts on this side, and you don't just put the bolts this way, these create a spacer. Because this tube actually protrudes. Per, <sighs> Cut. Because this tube actually protrudes a little bit, and these create a space for the plate on the camel brace so the plate on the camel brace is just nice and flat we're just gonna set this on there put that there and those just go right onto the stud just like that first is the clamps on the oem windscreen bar here and here there's the other two pieces and these are split poly tubing that goes around the bar and they're split so that when you tighten up the clamps it doesn't bunch up the the tubing and I I'm probably gonna use a bit of Loctite on these too you guys see that I can I have no idea of my camera angle right now I'm not gonna tighten these up all the way yet just get them started so that when everything is in and on I have the opportunity to center the brace on the OEM windscreen bracket. Yeah, I know. Make your jokes. Right about there. So, now, get that tubing in there. Horseshoes and hand grenades, right? You can see why I removed the windscreen to do this. I would have no room up here to work if I did not. Now. This is why I make videos for you guys. So you don't make my mistakes. Something, what, what, what can you imagine needs to happen before I tighten these up up here and put the bolts on there. See this plate that is now in the way of putting the rubber boots back on. <laughs> Rewind these. The, these are exactly the same. They don't have a size. Or, Jesus. These are exactly the same. They don't have a side. The most important thing is these, the arrow, the up arrow on either one of them just needs to go up. And you're just working it back on. Just like that. Make sure this is on solid. All right. We're back in business, baby. I now know why I didn't think about putting the boots on before I put the brace, the camel brace in. It was Lana getting back at me for saying, yeah, they say this take about 30, 40 minutes. I think I, I think I can beat that. I think it'll just take me 30, 40 minutes and I'm filming. Look at me, I'm super cool. And they're like, "Heh." This is pretty ridiculous. I'm trying to film something with a camera on your forehead. I'll tell you what, not my favorite. Those are nylock, so I'm not worried about it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Camel ADV windscreen brace. Why did I put that on? Because for Black Friday, I found a deal on the Garmin Zumo XT. So I got myself one. That's where it's going to mount, is right behind the windscreen. Now, speaking of a windscreen, Let's go ahead and put that on. See if I can put it back on without losing the well nuts also. That'd be nifty. You don't push the bolt in. You put it up against the, the rubber well nut and you just start threading. It will thread itself in. Don't push the bolt in. See? See how it's screwing itself right in there? Cool beans, huh? Just needs to be finger tight. You don't have to wrench it down or anything. There's no torque spec for this that I'm aware of. See, I'm just, I'm just using the attachment. I'm not even using the ratchet. Okay, wait. I'm going to wait to open my fat mouth until I get 
these last two on. These bottom two are the troublemakers. So once those are on, I'm in the clear. Just like that. Ta-da! That was the install of the Camel ADV windscreen brace on a 2019 Africa Twin manual. If you enjoyed this video and you found value in it, if it helped you out, I do DIY shop work on my own bike all the time. Check here, check this playlist for the videos on DIY maintenance on your bike. Coming up very soon, I will also be doing one on swapping out your air filters. Seems easy. Um, I've come to find out a lot of people are trepidatious of removing the fairing skins. Because <laughs> if you mess them up, they're expensive to replace. Um, interact with me in the comments. I, I try to get in there and answer comments as they come in. Give them a little heart or a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Stay hairy.